The Atari Creep YouTube channel is intended for a mature audience. Regardless of the subject matter, this video may contain strong language, simulated violence, and lots of psychological nudity. Viewer discretion is advised. What's up, Creepers and Keekers? Chris, the Atari Creep. How's everyone doing today, guys? Let's have a look at a couple of new Mega Constructs figures that I just picked up. We got Stratos from Masters of the Universe. And we have a really weird looking alien uh, Xenomorph from Aliens, the sequel. Um, these just started popping up at five below. And I say just started. You've been, I've been able to find uh, Beastman there for some time now. But they've been getting others in stock. Um, the two hardest ones for me anyway to find were Stratos here and Scareglow. And people have been saying that they're finding Scareglow at their local five belows. I wasn't able, I was able to find these two, among a few others that I didn't really care. There was like an X-Files alien, um, there was a, a Ninja Turtle, and there might have been a few Masters of the Universe that I already have and don't feel like having doubles of. So if anyone goes there five below and they find a Scarecrow, let me know. I'm PayPal ready. I'll, I'll hook you up for the cost of the figure, plus a few bucks to get it to me. Um, and maybe a little bit more for your time and efforts. But either way, let's have a look at these. Of course, the main feature here is Mr. Stratos here. Um, nothing really more to say. The back has a bunch of legal jargon. And here's what was in this wave. This is wave, what, five? And in this wave is the Xenomorph, Scareglow. God, guys, I really want that figure. Help me out. Um, I'm going to guess that's, what, someone from Men in Black? I don't know. Uh, one of the Ninja Turtles, I can't see if that's orange or red from the distance I'm at. And some goofy alien from X-Files. So, or maybe that's an X-Files guy. Maybe that's, uh, what was his name, Mulder? I didn't watch X-Files either, guys. Sorry. But, yeah, there you go. And then we have a blue Xenomorph, and he comes with a really neat face hugger. Really good stuff. Guys, three and a quarter. You can't wrong, go wrong. They're $4.99 in retail. Now that they're going into the bargain bins for three and a quarter, no reason not to collect these. So, a couple things. If you're in Fire Below, look for them. Pick some up for yourself. And if you find a Scare Glow or two, that's one I wouldn't mind having a couple of. Let me know, and we'll make something happen. So, let's start with the Xenomorph. And here's the paperwork that he came with. You know, basic instructions on how to put them back together should you, you mess that up somehow. And, um... Here's the list of figures in that line, you know, in case you want to feel guilty about not having them all. Bam, there you go. Um, the figure itself, great quality, just like the rest of our Mega Constructs. I really like the base. That's really the only thing you had to put together was the base. Um, same thing as all of them. There were three pieces. You had the main piece, the platform, and this cross member here. Um, I like that the platform itself is a nice silver, uh, really nice touch. Uh, really falls in line with uh, the character itself the xenomorph <laughs> looks a little goofy but i suppose when you try to shrink it down to this size and you try to make this style of a figure this is only so much you can do i wish there was a little bit more articulation in the tail but they put it on a ball so you can get you know some you can put it here or up and over or whatever um i just wish there was maybe another joint somewhere in the middle but what can you ask for it's under five dollar toy um, as far as the rest of the articulation, no different than others. You got shoulders, elbow, wrists. Uh, the, the head only does an up and down nod. I mean, it's on a ball too, so kind of, you can kind of tilt it sideways like a uh, kind of look. Um, knees bend. You do have a, a waist. And of course, you go forwards and backwards. Now, it did come with two really cool accessories, and I was surprised to see that these are a, a nice soft rubber. They're not um, like a hard plastic like I initially thought they were going to be. Uh, here's the first face hugger. And you know what? Honestly, for what it is, it's a pretty decent detail to this thing. The business end of this thing, I might just take a little bit of pink, a wash, and just dab it in there. Just to give it a little bit more of a, you know, whatever. But I think that would be cool to do. Just leave him here. Now, here's another really cool in inclusion here. There are a whole bunch of other alien uh, figures, not just the Xenomorphs in the line from other waves. This face hugger was designed, as you can clearly see, to fit over the face of another figure. So if you have, the, say, uh, I think there's a, there's a Colonial Marine, uh, 
Ripley might be in the line. I don't remember who's in there for the alien figures or the alien property. Um, but it, hell, you, I could put this on Stratos <laughs> in a few minutes here. But I thought that was really neat. Again, it's a soft rubber, really high quality. doesn't feel like it's going to rip very easily. I'd still be careful with it. Um, but it's designed to fit right over the face of one of your figures. And this will coil around. Just a great inclusion. That alone right there is worth the entertainment value of this thing. So here's Stratos. Um, I'm not going to show you the paperwork. It's pretty much the exact same thing. It just says Masters of the Universe and has pictures of him and his stuff instead of all the others. But, you know, similar base and everything. Um, the color to match the rest of the Masters of the Universe. And, of course, the Castle Grayskull that Mega Constructs put out for $350 billion that I can't afford. But that's, that's neither here nor there. Now, before we talk about the figure or drop him, uh, I got two points of warning for you, so to speak, when removing him from the package. Uh, more so when I was removing the platform, the green platform. These little green nubs on the on the corners here were all hiding underneath it. And they went flying everywhere. So be careful. Be careful. It took me a little while to find two of them. But we got them on there. Also, he was in his packaging so tight, the, the little cradle that they put him in, that his hand popped off because the this feather here was stuck inside and it forced the hand and the hand went flying and I'm surprised I found that too uh, but overall another fantastic looking figure if you could see it there we go have a look at the back just really fun and uh, he's gonna look great with the rest of them so that's my look at the Mega Constructs Stratos and Xenomorph from the fifth wave of the Mega Constructs really rad super duper I don't know what line they are <laughs> action figures um, and I'm glad that Five Below has been getting these. Because um, it just makes it so much easier to collect really cool stuff like this. Um, yeah, and if I could just find that scare glow, that would be fantastic. But let me know down in the comments what you think about these two figures and any of the other ones we've seen. I have pretty much all of the other Masters of the Universe, in excluding variants. Um, and I have four T-800s. And I hope to add more to the army as they come out. And again, if you have a line on a scare glow, please let me know and we can hopefully make something happen. But guys, leave feedback, thumbs up, thumbs down. All feedback to The Creep is positive. Hope you're doing well. Hope you have a great weekend. Thanks as always for watching. Until next time, take care, creep it real, and bye-bye.